There's a boy on the coast that I'm sorry to say I tore him right from the ground And I brought him some trouble like he'd never see There's a road that I've traveled to get where I am And I know I'm just a bit far Maybe I've had a little too much in my Megan, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I've been trying to do more of these kind of one-off acoustic versions of songs that I'm working on and I'm writing and hopefully we'll be on the next album just to see what you guys like and yeah. A few things to talk about. Number one, I went to NAMM and interviewed a bunch of celebrities for Gibson Guitars. Got to hang out with cool people like Eddie Cahill from CSI, um, Andy Dick, John Stamos, who kept telling me how beautiful my eyes were. And in return for doing that, Gibson Guitars gave me Gibson, which you see, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. So this is a Les Paul, it's 60s tribute, and the coolest part about this entire thing is, you see this? I turn this on, and I can tune my guitar by strumming it. Also, I was on Hannah Hart's live stream. She did her thinkathon, and I went over and hung out and played a lot of songs and did fun things. She recorded all 12 hours of it, and it's on the internet. So you can go, you know, spend your time watching through that. Hopefully you guys have been watching uh, my documentary series on 3V that's showing um, me training for a 5K and doing music and all kinds of fun stuff that's going on in my life. Have you read the nutrition information? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> 18 grams of sugar for one cup. But it tastes like love. So it does taste like love. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys supporting those episodes and kind of supporting um, that whole journey. 
and you guys have been super amazing. So definitely comment and like and subscribe and do all those fun things. And finally, I want to give um, a shout out to my friend Scott, who is doing a podcast now called The Cherry Tree Podcast. I actually went and, um, and recorded an episode with him, which I'm super excited to come out. But if you wanna catch up on the first episode that came out, you can do that, and it's super cool. He's super cool. So go leave him lots of love, go follow him on the Twitter, and follow the podcast and listen to it. And you, I promise you, you will enjoy it. I'm just saying that I might have said a few things, like I don't have to be drunk to f strangers. Again, in the naughty place.